welcome along to another video presentation from Saturn Alliance. My name is Robert Crane and today we'll be having a look at using the recycle bin in SharePoint version 3. For more information on how to install, migrate and maintain Windows SharePoint, please have a look at our SharePoint operations guide. For more information, go to the website wssops.satinalliance.com.au SharePoint version 3 now includes a two-stage recycle bin. The first stage is used for recovery by the user of deleted documents and the second stage is used by an administrator for recovery of deleted documents. So let's have a look at this. Here we are at our SharePoint version 3 home site and as you can see up here in the top right hand corner I'm logged in as an ordinary user. If I now go to my shared documents I should see a number of documents in my library. If I now choose this document and select to delete it it will prompt me as to whether I'm sure. I click OK and once the document library updates, you'll see that the document no longer appears in the library. As you can see, the document no longer appears in the library. To recover this document, I go down here at the bottom of the Quick Launch menu, in the bottom left hand side, and select Recycle Bin. In here, I see the document that I have deleted, I see its location, and again, who created it. So to restore this, I simply select the document and click the Restore Selection button. I'm now prompted as to whether I'm sure. I click OK to continue. And now that document will be recovered into the original location. I now go back to the home page of my SharePoint site, return to my Shared Documents library. I now see that the document that I deleted is in fact restored. Now, that's the first stage of the recycle bin. If I now choose to delete that same document again, click OK to continue, wait for my library to be updated as you can see, go to the recycle bin and select that document and instead of restoring it, selecting the deletion option, this now will remove the document completely from the user's recycle bin, meaning that the user can no longer recover that document. However, it can be recovered by an administrator using the second stage recycle bin. What we need to do is to firstly log in as a SharePoint administrator. So I do that by going up to the right, pulling this down, selecting to sign in as a different user. I now log in as the administrator. As you can see now in the top right hand corner, you, I'm indicated that I'm logged in as the system account. If I now go and look at the recycle bin, you'll notice that nothing appears in here because again, this is the user recycle bin for the user that I'm currently logged in as. If I want to look at the administrator's recycle bin, I have to go to site actions and go to site settings. In here under site collection administration, you'll notice that there's an option to called recycle bin. If I select that, you'll notice that at the moment there's nothing in the end user recycle bin. As I said before, this recycle bin is for the administrator or the currently logged in user. However, if I look at the second option, which is only available to administrator called deleted from end user recycle bin, I should now see that the document that the user created appears. The listing determines which user deleted it, where it was originally located. So to restore this, I can simply select this and hit the restore selection. I'm prompted as to whether I'm sure. I click OK to continue. Nothing more in the recycle bin. If I now return to the home page, go back to my shared documents, I'll see that the document has in fact returned. Now to verify this, if I again sign in as the original user into my SharePoint site and look at my shared documents library 
Again, I see that document is available and I can now continue to work on it. Again, note that I'm logged in as the user. So, SharePoint has two stage recycle bin. The first stage is accessible by a user in the bottom left hand corner of the quick start menu via the option recycle bin. The section op second option that is available is available to administrators only via the site action selection. If you found this video of benefit, we'd appreciate a donation via donation.satinalliance.com.au. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and remind you that you can contact me via robert at satinalliance.com.au or via my blog at supportweb.ciaops.net.au forward slash blog. Thank you very much for watching.